All right, today what we're gonna learn how to do is change a master cylinder's piston, also called the rebuild kit. So I got my rebuild kit here, it's a Miyako kit. Comes with everything here. I mean, I got another one there, but you know, I'm just gonna take the one that I have on my card and I've been using the whole time. So got the whole rebuild kit there. And what you want to do is on R33 GTR, R32, R34, S chassis, all this should be applicable here. So what you're going to do is take your fluid out. What I used was a syringe, which is here. I used this syringe exactly. And I just put my brake fluid in there. And once I put that in there, uh, what I'm going to do now is loosen this... Uh, this 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 reservoir plastic piece I'm gonna take it off and once I take it off you have better access to that top bolt the bottom bolt so so not I mean pretty simple to get to but the top one is pain in the A so we're gonna take this off I'm gonna take your line off put some down below it so when it drips a little bit of brake fluid out you know you won't be having to worry about it on your paint and such so let's do this I'll get back when I get to the next part. All right, now that that's off, I'm gonna show you what it looks like there. See, you got a little bit more room. Shit, there's a phone. A little bit more room to get down in there. So you, I may be able to stick my uh, 12 inch universal in there and get in there a little bit better. So let's try that. All right, I also already taken loose the uh, the holes that's for the uh, the booster. Just, 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 just taking it off. All right, so that's done. What we're gonna do now is, cause I got these slippery ass fingers sometimes, you know, stuff just goes all over the place. So to keep mine from going down in there, you can sit this magnet up on there, like so. And that way, when that some gun do fall, cause it's gonna fall. It's Nissan, it's gonna fall. When it does fall, when it falls there, it's gonna fall right on that magnet. By the grace of God, I guess we'll see. Come on, though. Oops. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fill on the magnet. Fill on the magnet. Fill. You too, Onagashimons. Onagashimons. All right, let's bring these bad boys out. Stay on there now. Stay on there. All right, got both of those out. Bam. Sit on my tool tray, AKA window cow. And I got the one on the bottom. But before I take that one off, I'm gonna take this line loose. And if it's gonna drip, I uh, know I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the one on the bottom off. I'm gonna take it at least loose. You can't see it, but it's down there. I can get to it with a U-joint. All right, here's my setup to get that down there. Quarter inch. Uh, what is that? It's, uh, nine inch extension. It may be a 12, 12 inches. My bad. A universal joint. You can see there, see universal joint there. And on the end of that is a socket. So that's the setup to get that bottom one out, guys. All right, now that I got that loose, that one's out. Now to go inside the car. Now me, myself, I keep an assortment of uh, picks, tools, and stuff. But you never know you're gonna need these. Like now. Better be, it's better to be, you know, prepared. It's always. So what we're gonna do is, let's see, get the water on here. What we're gonna do is that plunger that's up here. Let's see if I can get you guys to see it. That shum gun is right there. Oh god, excuse the nest of wires. But that one's gonna take that piece out right there. Boom. I'm gonna pull it out and the piece that it's going through, that piston that not piston, but you know, pin. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna just knock the pin out. And then we're gonna just pull it out the engine bay, and that'll be it. All right, that took every bit of 15 seconds. So that's out. Now we're gonna pull. It is literally just later rain, just raining. 
sun out and raining. Look at that. Let me see. It's raining. That's the sun. That's that tropical weather for you. Not bad though. Can't complain. Let's keep going. Now this is the part where you pray that Nissan made it to where you can at least get this out, you know? Can we all say a prayer for me? All right, bear with me guys. The last part about going inside the car, scratch that part, you don't need to pull the pin out. So uh, watch the video fully before you do that. So when, you, when I pulled it out, I thought that it broke or something from inside the car. Cause usually when you pull a master cylinder out, the piston, all of this comes out with the uh, with the lever and everything that, that 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 hook that I showed you guys in there that had the the pin inside of it. All that usually comes out like as a whole, but here on this one, I had a spare. <laughs> as I have everything, I have a spare, and this spare when I took it apart, that it even came apart the same way. So it's not broken. Nothing is crazy. So uh, I'm gonna examine the inside of it and make sure it's good. I mean, this looks like a good piston also. But you know, always good to have spare people. Let's look down in there, see if we see anything crazy. It may have been leaking, could have been. Can't really tell. I think it was leaking a little bit. I think it was. Can't really see down in there good. I can see it, but you guys can't really see it that well. But I can see. So what I'm gonna do is just clean it all up and do this rebuild. Right, I'm just sitting here looking at everything, but I think it was leaking just a little bit. Like you can see there where the residue on the O-ring is. And also like inside here and in, inside the, the piston area. So I think it was leaking just a bit. It has started to, I could feel a difference in my clutch pedal. So probably what was going on. The slate cylinder is a Nismo one. So you guys recently saw I changed that. If you check out my Instagram, like I, I post a lot of stuff on there and uh, my Facebook and TikTok. So stay tuned on those also, but let's clean this up and let's change it. All right, I'm going to make this drawer my operating table. So what I'm going to do is flip that there, put this soak up pad up under it. Flip that back over. And we're going to get to work, boy. All right, these should be all the tools that you might need for this. So you should have snap ring pliers. Not just get some needle nose. Um, brake cleaner. This is the kit. This is everything that comes with this kit. Hopefully this is the kit for this. Guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> if not, I ordered one on Yahoo Auction. This and it should be here anytime, sometime this week. So hopefully this is it though. So we'll still see. But this is everything you probably should need just to do this. First thing first, take the snap ring out. So just push down on this a little bit. You see the snap ring is down in there. Probably can't see it. It's just right there. You see it? There. Yeah, right there on top. <laughs> that one. All right. Very simple. Once you pull the snap ring out, that comes out with it. And then this part here just starts to retract. So just try and keep everything in order. So what we're gonna do is gonna lay it down right there. We're gonna bring this out like so. And this piston right here should just slide out of here. I gotta use two hands. So. Just pull this. It's another snap ring in there, guys. There's another one. Pull that one out, too. All right, everything looks very hopeful. Same snap ring, same, same. O-ring there, O-ring here. That metal washer, this metal washer. Let's do it. All right, once you pull it apart, this is what you get. 
that, this. So let's just clean this out really good and then replace it with this. And before I put it all back together, I'm gonna put brake clean, I mean, uh, brake fluid in here, just some fresh brake fluid. So let's do this. All right, now that it's all clean, don't forget to clean your reservoir. Let's take off everything and let's swap it over. So we're gonna put the new O-ring on here. We're gonna swap, well, clean this piston off, put some grease on it, stick it back in the car. Oh, no, no, we're gonna stick it back in here. And then we'll do the car part. And then we'll go here and put all this back together here. Let's do this. Just for the record, so you will know, when you pull this piston out, you see this rubber, this is a rubber ring around here, this top black piece right here. Not, not this, not this, but the part that's right here below this. Oh, I can show you on this one. So when I pulled this one out, it came out with the O-ring, with this metal uh, wash on top of it. But this right here is a uh, plastic, I mean, it's not plastic, but it's like rubbery. So when you pull that out, you have to make sure that it goes back down below this crease. So when you put in, so when you put on the uh, washer here, Watch it gonna go down, it's gonna go down above, below that. And I'm sure that's what's keeping the fluid from coming past this piston. It is probably like a secondary. But uh, then the O-ring will be able to go down in there on uh, the snap ring go over that. Then you'll go from there. Let's keep moving. All right, got everything back together. Last thing we're gonna do is get this here. Drop that piston out of there. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on here. Not gonna make it crazy. You gotta put a little while, just a little bit. So don't you say and she say. Get a little grease. Put it on here. I'm gonna stick this in the car. That's a friction point. And I don't think it'll hurt. Put a little bit on the tip. On the tip of room. Put a little bit on the tip. Now you're gonna stick that back in the car. And we're gonna go slap this back in and we're gonna bleed the bricks we'll bleed the slave cylinder again <laughs> 